Human and Organizational Performance, or HOP, is a tool that helps safety practitioners answer the question, how can we do safety differently? The science-based approach analyzes mistakes so we can address them more effectively. It builds an understanding of how humans perform and how we can build more error-tolerant systems. At its core, HOP uses social science to design more resilient working systems. It's not a step-by-step -step risk management program. Instead, it's a way of looking at how humans behave, how they work, and the systems designed to support them daily. Think about it as a philosophy of workplace safety rather than a prescriptive program or management system. The key difference between HOP and risk management programs is that HOP assumes that mistakes will happen and no amount of planning or equipment can make humans perfect. Let's take a look at an example. How many times does the uppercase or lowercase letter F appear in the following sentence? Did you count six? As Dr. Edward de Bono once said, mistakes arise directly from the way the mind handles information, not through stupidity or carelessness. Most people say three. Why? We often don't correctly process the word of for two reasons. First, the letter F usually makes the F sound, like in fox. However, in the word of, it makes a V sound. Second, you've probably read the word of so often in your life that you process it as one unit overlooking the second letter. Hop believes almost every human error has a connection to other processes, like process design or organizational expectations. For example, if an organization expects work to be completed within a deadline with no exceptions, then risky behaviors used to save time may be at least a partial product of those expectations. HOP argues that organizations can identify common errors through employee experiences because few errors happen once. Most employees have experienced them before. While there is no step-by-step -step playbook for HOP, there are five guiding principles developed by Dr. Todd Conklin, who has spent the better part of two decades studying human performance. Let's take a look at those principles. Principle 1. People make mistakes. It's a normal part of being human. Designing systems that can withstand error prevents injuries. Principle two, blame fixes nothing. Thought leaders have long known about the corrosive nature of blame, yet it is still a common reaction to workplace incidents. Principle three, context drives behavior. Context is the circumstances that form the setting for an event, such as fatigue, production demands, or broken equipment. For every workplace injury, various circumstances lead to the behavior that resulted in the injury. Principle 4. Learning and improving are vital. The whole point of analyzing workplace injuries is to prevent them from happening again, but many organizations see the same types of injuries over and over. Principle 5. How leaders respond to failure matters. What happens at your organization when things go wrong? Is failure seen as an opportunity or a precursor to an organizational shakedown? When injuries happen, and they will, blaming the injured employee should be avoided in favor of managing work processes to make it harder to get injured and easier to work safely. Most importantly, we can learn from every event and involve employees in generating ideas. Seeing employees as problem solvers is a key hop strategy that can reduce injuries and increase employee engagement. Want to learn more about HOP? Use the link in the description to enroll in our online human and organizational performance certificate course today. Use the code HOPYOUTUBE10 to save 10% on this course tuition. As always, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button so you don't miss the next NASP info video.